Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshaga Mishra. Here's what I bring to you from the world of medicine. Study links anxiety to decreased activity in trans cognitive control network. A recent study published in Psychophysiology highlighted the relationship between anxiety and brain function, particularly how anxiety impacts the cognitive control network. This research revealed that major anxiety disorders are linked to decreased activity in specific brain regions, which could serve as neural markers for anxiety symptoms. Anxiety affects millions globally, ranging from mild to severe forms. While mild anxiety can heighten awareness, severe anxiety leads to debilitating disorders that impairs daily functioning and often coexist with other mental health issues like depression. Understanding the neural mechanism behind anxiety is essential for developing effective treatments. Previous research has shown inconsistent findings regarding anxiety's impact on brain activity, especially in the frontal cortex. In the study, researchers recruited 366 participants from Huazang University of Science and Technology in Wuhan, China. Using the hospital anxiety and depression scale, participants were characterized into three groups based on anxiety levels. Healthy controls, mild anxiety, and major anxiety. To measure brain activity, the study utilized functional near infrared spectroscopy, a non-invasive method that monitors blood oxygen level in the brain. Participants performed a verbal fluency task which activates brain region involved in cognitive control. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess in-depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. The study found significant differences in brain activity among the groups. Specifically, there was a negative correlation between anxiety severity and activation in the right dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and the left frontal eye fields. Higher anxiety levels corresponded to lower anxiety in these regions during the BFT. Participants with major anxiety showed significantly lower activation in the right dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and the left frontal eye fields compared to healthy controls. These findings suggested that decreased activity in these brain regions could be a neural marker for major anxiety disorders. The cognitive control network, crucial for regulating thoughts and emotion, appeared impaired in individuals with major anxiety. Sari underscored the importance of targeting specific brain regions in treatment for anxiety disorders. Future research would incorporate comprehensive measures of anxiety and depression and include deeper brain regions like amygdala to provide a more complete understanding of the neural mechanism underlying anxiety. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.